In this video, I will show you how to code a counter that might be used to keep track of scores. You can see that I've already uploaded two images, two logos for Teams. To do that, I clicked on Choose a Sprite at the bottom and then Upload Sprite. And I had those images saved on my computer. I've also adjusted the backdrop. To do that, I clicked on Backdrops and then over in the Tabs area, I clicked on Backdrops. And you can see I added the words Team Scores and then some instructions on the bottom. Let's click on the Code tab to code this application. The first thing we need to do is to declare some variables. So click on variables, make a variable. And this first one, I'm going to call it Ottawa score. So this will hold the value of the Ottawa Senator score. Click on OK. And you can see on the stage here that the Ottawa score variable is visible. I'm going to just drag it beneath the Ottawa logo. And I'm also going to right click it and change it to a normal readout so that it doesn't have the description or the name of the variable, variable beside the value. You could leave it the other way if you wish. I'm now going to do the same for the maple leaves. So I'm going to go to variables, make a variable and call it Toronto score and click on OK. Again, drag it beneath the maple leaf. You can right click and change it to a large readout if you wish. Let's do the code so that when you click on each of these logos, the score will increase beneath it. Let's start with the Ottawa Senators. So click on the sprite on the bottom here and you can see that it is selected. So we now know we are coding for that particular sprite. Under events, select when the sprite is clicked. Under variables, select change and make sure in the pull down menu you selected the Ottawa score. So every time I click on the Ottawa logo, the score will increase by one. Let's try it. There you go. Now if you're making a game where someone loses points or lose or their score will decrease, you could just change this value to negative one so the score would decrease. Let's do the same for the Toronto Maple Leafs logo. So click on the Toronto Sprite, go to events, when the sprite is clicked, variables, change, and remember in the pull down menu we have to make sure we select the right variable. So we want the Toronto score to increase by one and we can test this now. Now you notice in our instructions we say press the space bar to reset. So we need to write the code to change them to zero so that we can start again. To do that, we will go to events, when space is clicked, then go to variables, and we're going to use the set block to reset both our variables. So we've got two set blocks here, one for the Ottawa score to set it to zero and one changing in the pull down menu, Toronto score to zero. So if I click the space bar now, both reset to zero. So you might use this if you're playing um, a game in class and you have various teams and you can add, of course, as many variables and logos as you want.